Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you my process on creating a drawing. I feel like usually I don't do much in order to brainstorm an idea, um, which sometimes can be great because I get in the zone and I make something and I get it done, um, but sometimes it could also mean me wasting my time on a piece that I ruined because I couldn't think about the colors and I was picking colors randomly and all that kind of stuff. But here I'm actually trying to figure out what I'm doing before I mess everything up. Uh, so just to get you up to speed, I found a box and I wanted to paint on it. And I actually ended up messing up the box, but I really liked the designs so I decided to turn it into a digital piece. Um, and that's something that I actually wanted to talk about how for me even um, and I'm guessing this happens to some of you guys who actually do um, art or really anything that involves kind of like a brainstorming process where you get an idea in your head and you think, my God, this is such a beautiful <laughs> fucking idea and I'm going to make it work and it's going to work no matter what. Um, and so you start brainstorming, you start doing thumbnail sketches or whatever you do, um, and then it doesn't work out. And then you get the option to basically either throw away that project, never look at it, pretend like it doesn't exist, which I've done many times before, or you can take that, take the design you made, um, merge it, transform it, do whatever to it, make it work in order to create something that you will like and enjoy. And so that's something that I did with this piece. Because originally I wanted it to be kind of like a design for myself. I wanted a box to keep all my sewing materials and I wanted it to look cool. Um, and after ruining the box, I was like, uh, I need to do something with this design because I really actually really like the design. Um, and so I, again, like I said, I turned it into a digital piece, but that kind of involved me thinking even more about colors <laughs> because even though I did like you know little thumbnail I did like a small little thumbnail sketch I literally didn't even plan out any colors and again I ruined it because I didn't think of colors so this video is just me kind of showing you the process of what is happening <laughs> honestly I don't really know how to explain it um another thing this video was recorded like last month <laughs> not last month literally like a couple of weeks ago and in this video, I actually, the box, the actual box itself, it's actually kind of sad. It took me like two days of recording to figure out what I was doing with this design or in this box because I had no clue what was actually happening. Um, so I kind of deleted the first part. I got rid of it. Like <laughs> I really didn't like the way the first part was coming out um, because at first it was just me kind of rambling about different things. Um, and then finally getting into the like the drawing process. But what you're gonna be seeing is day two. So if I refer to like day one and kind of talking about yesterday and stuff like that, just ignore that. <laughs> um, also, when I was recording this video, it was very, very early in the morning, meaning I got some good sunlight and, you know, good lighting on my face. Um, but it was also very <laughs> early. <laughs> And I was very tired. Um, so basically my voice kind of sounds um, really low and raspy and mellow because I had just basically woken up and was still trying to like figure out why am I up so early? What am I doing? So I apologize for my very weird mumbly voice um, in this clip. Um, also, I look hella pissed off now that I'm looking at like the actual recording of it. I look so mad. <laughs> And I am like not even mad at anything at all. It's just my face being my face and looking very angry. So um, it was really early. I was still tired. I don't know what was happening in my head right now or in that moment. But just kind of go with it. Just watch the video. <laughs> um, that's all I wanted to talk about. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of this video. Um, like I said, I'm going to be trying to put out some more videos out. It's really one of my main goals right now i'm starting um actually a little news update or college update for you guys i'm starting college um in two weeks i'm very nervous because i have no idea what i'm doing and i'm sure i'll make a video about it someday but just a little update of what's actually happening in my life right now um so yeah enjoy the rest of the video 
Hello, it is Tuesday. Um, I started recording a lot yesterday, so I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, here I was. I started working on painting the box, but it honestly is not coming out the way I wanted it to. Um, this is what I have so far. Not my best work. Um, I don't know, I don't like it. It's, I don't know if it's the acrylic paint or the way it's behaving with like the texture of the box, but it's not drying the way I would want it to. It's really like sticky and um, not smooth. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue painting it. I mean, I can still use it for storage and stuff. Um, yeah, like I can still use it. Probably gonna put in some sewing stuff in here. Um, yeah, like I like I didn't even bother to clean up the edges just because I don't know, I don't really like it. I might put like a quote or something on it, but probably not going to do that. Um, yeah, that is what that happened. But I did make some other designs that I want to finish digitally, so I'll show you guys that. Okay, so this is my new sketchbook. This is the one I'm using right now. Um, so far, it's really good. I got it from Barnes & Nobles. I like the paper a lot. Um, but this was one of the designs that I was trying to do on the box. I don't know if you can see that. It's this one. <laughs> um, I really like it. I think it's really cute. <laughs> and so I did a much bigger sketch of it here. Um, and I was going to paint it traditionally, but uh, the paper that I used here, I don't know if it would be um, strong enough for watercolor. I have watercolor paper over there, but I don't feel like retracing it. <laughs> I just don't feel like retracing it. Um, but basically, what I'm planning on doing is just taking a picture of it and then finishing it on my iPad. Um, so it's digital, and it could be maybe a print. Maybe I can start selling this as a print. Let me show you guys real quick how it looks. So this is basically what it looks. Um, this is a tiny version right here. Basically, it's just like a skull, right? Just like the top part of the skull. Um, yeah, ignore that. <laughs> um, and it's surrounded by some sunflowers and just some like leaves. Um, it's vomiting. I don't know what exactly it's throwing up, but it just is. And then because I couldn't help myself, I added um, the skeleton click symbols from 21 Pilots. So I guess this is now a 21 Pilots piece, even though I didn't want it to be, but I think it looks really cool. Um, so I'm probably gonna scan this in or just take a picture of it and then finish it on my iPad. So it's like a clear um, design that I can probably use for like a print or something. Um, but yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, I don't know if I have to go out today. I don't think I'm gonna go out. So probably today I wanna go out and get some stuff to decorate it, I guess. I don't <laughs> We, I definitely need an office chair or like a chair with wheels, a swivel chair if you will. Um, Cause I've been using this chair that I just got randomly. I don't know where I got it from, um, but it's like a metal chair and it has like a little bit of cushion, but after a while it hurts <laughs> to sit on it and because it's metal it drags on the carpet so if you want to move you have to pick it up <laughs> whether if you had a swivel chair or a chair with wheels you would just slide um so that's why i want to go get one of those <laughs> So during like the afternoon and stuff, um, really it's just that lamp that's providing light because it gets really dark here. Um, so I'm probably gonna go try to get some lamps or it's just something like fairy lights, I guess, <laughs> to just put on the ceiling. You can't see where I'm pointing. I don't know where I'm pointing, but um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna go get some breakfast right now and then I'm gonna go ahead and start. Um, finishing up this um, drawing on my iPad on Procreate. So, 
Ja.
guys thank you guys so much for watching the video it means the absolute world to me so as you can tell the actual design i turned it into a digital piece i'm really happy with the way it came out so happy that i want to turn it into prints and i want to sell them and stuff like that <laughs> um so i had a quick question for you guys if you know any good kind of printing shops or printing services here in the u.s that I can just kind of send my design and they print it out for me and send it back. You know, if you know anything, any um, print shops and stuff like that, um, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I really like this design and I have a couple of other designs I want to turn into print. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know because I don't know anything about that. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you guys and I hope you have a nice day or night. Okay, bye.